Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Coach Betty Maura. And today I would like us to discuss why your side hustle is not working. So in essence, a side hustle is that extra something you are doing on the side to, you know, to supplement your income. And I hear a lot of these questions when people visit my office and they tell me, Betty, I'm doing a job and also running a side business on the, ha on the side or two or three or four. However, they are not doing very well and I'm struggling and I don't know what to do. So let's look at the reasons as to why some of these side hustles are not working. So number one reason is, uh, the, the number one reason I found is that most of us start side hustles that are a copy paste of another side hustle. So your colleague has a business on the side and as you're having lunch or as you're having a conversation in the office as to why you don't like your job, you also decide because their side hustle is working, you or really they tell you they have a side hustle which they are gaining some uh, income from, you quickly rush, you copy and paste that business to become your own. Meanwhile, you have no passion for it. You know nothing about that business. You are not an expert in it. And then you, you know, invest your hard-earned cash into such a business. Uh, two weeks ago, I talked to a lady who took a loan, quite a big amount, started a salon in the uptown, I mean, in an uptown. And two years down the line, she's had to close that business. So as we were discussing, I asked her a few questions. And I think the reason that business didn't work is because it was a copy paste of what her sister was doing and it was working for her sister. However, her sister had skills in the business and she had time to go and supervise her business. So number one reason why your side hustle is not working is probably because you started a business and copy pasted it from somebody else. Reason being, you heard that someone saying they are making money from that business. So let's not copy paste, start a business. In my book, the Activate and Monetize Your Potential book, here it is, I explain to you and I discuss that you must not start a business for the sake of it. It's hard to find capital, guys. It's really, really tough. And so as you invest your hard-earned money, please don't copy and paste anybody's business. Do it from your heart. Have a look at that book and it will guide you on how you can start that. Reason number two why side hustles are not um, working very well is because a lot of people start side hustles for the wrong reason. And most of these reasons are you probably don't like your boss today where you're working or you feel overwhelmed by your work or you don't like your colleagues or you don't like your job. Uh, really, I hear a lot of people tell me, oh, Betty, I don't like my job. I can't wait for leave days. I wait for evening, but I like the salary. Really? How can you like the salary and you don't like the job? I mean, would you like that to happen to your own business? So some of uh, the people that start side hustles, they start them for the wrong reason. Reason is, if you dig deep down, they are starting that side hustle because they hate their job and they expect this side hustle to work very well and then they can leave their job and go start that side hustle. Uh, others start side hustles because they hate their manager and they want to quit their manager. So they start side hustles so that at one point when they are very angry, they will quit their manager and go, uh, you know, go to that side hustle. And so if you start your side hustle for the wrong reason, like that reason that I've given, or others start side hustles for the wrong reasons, uh, like I hear, I gather, I gather this business is doing very well. I hear my friends are doing very, very well with this business. Then be sure it's not going to survive very, very long. And that's why probably you are struggling with that your side hustle. So it's always good to start that side hustle, having planned your time, your brain, your mind, and everything around it. And that's why uh, some of those side hustles are failing. And reason number three, why your side hustle is not working is because you probably cannot focus 
and why are you not focusing? You're not focusing because you started one side hustle, you've nurtured it, it's probably bringing you $1,000 at the end of the month or $500, $200, whatever dollar amount of money it's bringing. So you reconcile in your mind, since this business is bringing me this amount of money, you open another side hustle. And then you nurture it to give you $200 a month. Then you open another side hustle and nurture it to give you another $200. So you see that ensures that you're not focused. You're not a focused person because let's look at this. You are in employment, so you have a job that you go to nine to five or eight to five or whatever time they are depending on which, uh, from where you're watching this from. So you have a job, you have a family, you have friends, you have relatives, you have other distractions in life. And then you're having one side hustle, two side hustles, three side hustles you clearly will not be able to scale that business. And so what happens is with time, you will grow weary. You'll grow weary of having a business that is giving you $100 and another business giving you $100 and another business giving you $100. Instead of concentrating and focusing on one side hustle, and growing it or scaling it to give you $5,000 at the end of the month, which is possible. However, if you have your mind on, you know, 10 different businesses and then your life, clearly it's not going to work. Steve Jobs once said in a meeting that he's very happy that they have said no to many other opportunities. And he said, innovation is the ability to say no to other bright and shiny objects. And I always say that not all opportunities are, not all good opportunities are for you. So it doesn't mean that if you hear there's another opportunity, you rush and invest your money in that other opportunities. Learn to say no, learn to run one side hustle, scale it so that you probably can retire into that side hustle. But if you take three, four, five side hustles, they are not going to work. You think they are going to work, but they are not going to work. And the other reason why side hustles are not uh, working is because most of us, we want to run our side hustles on phone. So you're at work, you steal your employer's time, you go outside for 20 minutes and find out how they are doing. So you'll be asking, how are you guys? Did you get these supplies? Uh, who came to our business today? And I am very confident as I said this because I've dealt with clients who tell me I invested this amount of money, I've done audits and I can tell that I have lost this huge amount of money. Why are you losing that huge amount of money? It's because you're doing your business on phone. You don't create time for that business. You don't visit that, your business. There's a lady who told me it's been three months since she visited her side hustle. Jokes. You, you, you're not expecting to rip anything out of that business. So in as much as probably you are keeping a day job, create time to go see how your business is doing. Create time to go and see your staff members. Really, you want to leave them there and go do your job and never see how they are doing. You don't know what it is they are facing in life. It's not going to work like that. So it's important that you create time. Some of us do not have time whatsoever. So they're always telling me, Betty, I don't have time to go and see my side hustle. But you have all the time, my dear, to go and watch TV. That time. <laughs> and you have a lot of time to be on social media. And you have a lot of time to gossip. That time, use it wisely to do your job and then create time. And I'm not saying that you must visit your side hustle every day. However, I suggest that you do it weekly if you can. And when you're on leave, please go sit down and check how does your side hustle work on an everyday basis. You should be the first person we reference your business to. You should be the one to tell your people that this business from morning to evening, this is what we do. This is the amount of money we make. These are the amount of customers we serve in a day. You cannot be sitting elsewhere and you don't know what's going on in your business. In essence, you cannot farm on phone. You cannot run your business on phone. You cannot sell clothes on phone and you cannot run a salon on phone. 
neither can you run an IT business firm on phone. It's not going to work. It's going to fail for sure. So those are the tips I want to share for today. And I hope that when we implement this, you're going to find a better side hustle and you're going to build a business out of your side hustle. In essence, if you don't do what is right for your side hustle, it will remain a side hustle for very long and it will never turn into a business. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you like what we are doing and I'll see you in the next video.